Good evening, everyone. It is such a pleasure to be before you now as a leader scholar and as a Yale undergraduate. If someone would have told me that I would be giving a speech like this my junior year of high school, I'm not sure I would have believed them. You see, I'm from Detroit, and the beginning of my junior year was the fall of 2008. And it was one of the worst years ever for Detroit. Not only were we dealing with the global economic crisis, but we were dealing with the local housing crisis and the local automotive crisis as well. In my personal life, 2008 was the year that my parents separated and later divorced. 2008 was the year that we went from borderline poverty to falling well below the poverty line. I would have to get through some days with just one meal, if that. I was grateful to have friends at school who would share their lunches with me. I was on the broke college student diet way before college. <laughs> but despite those circumstances, I had plans. At the time, my cumulative GPA was 4.0. And as I would tell my sister, I was still in the running to become America's next top model, which, of course, I meant I was still in the running to become valedictorian. I knew that I was going to go to college someday, and I knew that I would be successful, but I just didn't know how at that point. And then, at the beginning of our junior year, uh, Alita's representative came to our school and t told us a little bit about, a pro about, about the program. He told us, if we, he asked us if we wanted to be challenged. He asked us if he wanted to work hard. And he asked us if we wanted to go to a good college. And of course, my answer was yes. But then he got the most important part of the, 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 most important part of the opportunity for me. And he told us it was free. And I was sold. I literally wrote F-R-E-E -E down in all caps with several exclamation points. <laughs> There was no way my family would be able to afford this type of opportunity. And I realized that my hard work was finally about to pay off. I'm so glad that nonprofits like LIDA exist, because oftentimes the smartest, most gifted students from under-resourced, low-income communities don't really know how to make that next step to college. Test preparation just doesn't exist at the same level. Writing instruction is not really given in certain communities. How students have to navigate the college application process completely alone, and I thought I would have to too. My college gu guidance counselor was different every, each, each year of high school, and she didn't even know my name. She complained that I requested too many transcripts because I was applying to too many things. <laughs> the Lita Summer Institute was one of the best experiences of my life. I had three meals a day, and I could focus on learning for the first time. <laughs> I felt inspired to take control of my life and my education. I cannot thank Lita enough for all the support that I've been given. Throughout my senior year of high school, Lita helped me apply to 12 schools, and I got into all 12, including Yale. <laughs> Throughout my time at Yale, Lita has continued to support me. Lita has connected me with several generous individuals who have offered me immeasurable personal, academic, and professional support. One of these individuals is Mr. Ian Zakraki. Before Ian even knew my name, he agreed to be my mentor. And he even hosted me in New York for a summer when I had nowhere else to go. I also am grateful to have my Yale mother, Miss Sally Thorner, along with the other Yale scholars. She definitely treats us like a mom and makes sure that we feel home at Yale. And because of my interest in theater, I've had the pleasure of being introduced to Mr. Ed Strong. Every time I spend time with him, I grow not only as an artist, but as a person, and I'm very grateful to know him. This past summer, Lita introduced me to help me find this internship at Bank of America Merrill Lynch, and that completely changed my life, and I decided to go back this summer. As you can see, Lita plays a role in so many parts of my life. Lita has given me family. Lita has given me friends. Lita has provided me with guides and mentors that I'll have for the rest of my life. Lita has opened up opportunities the world of opportunities, and I'm forever grateful for them. And I, look, I look forward to what's in store for my future, and I'm so proud to be a leader scholar for life. Thank you.